Oh boy. What was that? Is he there? Yeah. So yeah. Shut up, Erex. Erex, shut up. Yeah, be quiet, dragon. Oh, oh no! Look how big! Oh my gosh! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay, and we are getting into the House of the Dragon finale. This is episode 10 of season one called The Black Queen. Interesting. Sounds like they're talking about Rhaenyra, but we'll have to see. With that being said, if you guys like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this, the previous House of Dragon episodes, you can check that out on Patreon. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that button. We have a goal to hit 10,000 subscribers by April. Why April? Because that would be our first year of recording on YouTube completely, and we want, we're want we hoping to get 10,000 by that time. 80% of you guys that come and watch our videos aren't subscribed. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not already, it'd be greatly appreciated. Yes, this is the season finale of House of the Dragon. Let's do it. Woo! All right. Before we get into it, Zay, what do you remember previously? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so, um, last episode focused primarily on a hunt for Aegon. Aegon had kind of just disappeared, and we didn't really know where he was. We did also see Aegon's son, one of his can one of his children in the fighting pit we don't know if he put him there or if he even knows he's there or if he even knows he's a son but we did see one in the fighting pit and it was interesting it was like a race to find him between otto and allison and otto specifically wanted aegon to be found and brought directly to him presumably without allison's knowledge so very interesting it ends up that you know sir Kristen finds him um takes him to uh he ends up bringing him back to his mother and everything so uh, Allison won that race and he gets crowned king. Uh, Aegon gets crowned king and everything seemed happy dandy. Um, you know, we're watching him become king until Rhaenys decides to get her dragon and bust through the floor. Now, keep in mind, once again, creepy insect child mentioned that there is a beast ben beneath the floorboards earlier in the episode and there was a beast. A lot of people died. Rhaenys actually approached uh allison aegon and such the family right there and we thought that she was going to burn them all and she just didn't there's been theories floating around um one one that cam brought up actually was that you know maybe it was kind of like uh to show like hey i owe like you owe me one like i could have just killed you all right there some people are saying she didn't want to be seen as a kin slayer by killing um the family whatever the case is i mean i'm maybe we'll kind of get more of that choice delved into maybe she'll talk more about it um but that was pretty much most of the episode was focused on this hunt for Aegon and that crazy dramatic finish super super nuts super wild super excited to get into this finale now to see where do we go from here where do they leave us off with for future seasons yeah i'm super excited i want some dragons we got a little we got a big bust out at the end of last episode super cool but let us see a bunch of dragons all together. This could be absolutely insane. It could be extremely action filled with all these dragons, or it could be completely character, uh, you know, developed type of finale, character developing finale. It could be just on the ground type of situation. This would go many ways and it, and they still could execute it greatly. So we'll have to see how it plays out, but there's only one way. Let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into the house of the dragon season one finale, the black queen. Oh, this is the table at Dragonstone. Oh, okay. Okay. And there's a, uh... That looks like Luceris. I can't be Lord of the Tides. Grandsire was the greatest sailor who ever lived. I get green sick before the ship even leaves the harbor. Damn. Oh. Time I came to understand I had to earn my inheritance. I don't like you. 
Oh man. In what way, sweet boy? Oh. So perfect. Oh, that's nice. That She's nice a nice kid. She did murder somebody innocent to keep her. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, fake. I am anything but. Yes, thank you, Rhaenyra. At least you're she... humble, or at least you're honest. <laughs> Cyrus is dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damon's like, hmm? Aegon has been crowned as his successor. Oh, fuck, oh. there it is. Yep, and she's gonna be pissed off. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Her baby said, let me out of here. <laughs> baby said, let me at him. Let me at him. They crowned him. Before the masses, a war is like to be fought over this treachery to be sure. But that war is not mine to begin. Ah. Uh. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. That's why she didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Your children. She didn't want to begin the war. Yeah, she's like, I can't start this war. If she's you're, like, if you want. Potato, hot potato. Here you go. Oh man. Oh my God, that baby's like, give me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that baby wants to fight. <laughs> That baby's like, Jakaris! Jakaris! <laughs> if the Greens attack now, it will be by stealth. Not directly. We don't have enough men to surround the island, but we can make ourselves appear stronger than Oh, they. Damon's ready. Yeah. Conscript the Dragon Keepers. They're capable fighters. Waste no time. It will be done, my prince. What happens if Vagar comes through, though? Like, that's an issue. See, that's where the problem really lies, because Vagar's way too big. Vagar could take out, like, 50 fucking soldiers wide every second. Your grandsire, King Viserys, has passed. Viserys? The Greens have repudiated the succession and claimed the Iron Throne. Oh shit. Aegon has been crowned king. Oh fuck, dude. Oh. To be done about it. Imagine Not hearing that. Yet. That's who you are. Whatever claim remains to me, you are now its heir. What? Naught is to be done but by my command. What? Is she saying that because oh. she thinks she might be dying? I mean, yeah, probably like a just in case. If she thinks that she might be doing what her mother's doing, she's but like. Also, it's not a just in case because even if she lives, she did it. I don't think she can reverse it because she just said, You have all my power now, pretty much. I don't know. She said, You're the heir now. If, if I mean. You're my heir. You're my heir. Well, but Jaceris has always been her heir. I, I, maybe she just had to solidify. I don't know. <laughs> I'm oh, curious though. Myself and a firm Lord Tully support. You will do no such thing. Oh shit! My mother has decreed no action be taken while she's in bed. Damn. Fuck. You're needed to patrol the skies on Vermax. Did you hear what I said? Oh shit! Come with me. I'll show you the true meaning of loyalty. Oh no. <sighs> oh, <gasps> fucking Christ. Oh 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 oh. Where's the dragon? I'm grateful for your long service to the crown. So I'm presenting you with a choice. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Ooh, yo, look at that oh, thing me. coming down on you. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Take whatever option results in life. Yeah. Swear Bro. on you, your oath to Rhaenyra as your queen. You swear it. Right now. The Prince de Ceres is the heir to the Iron Throne. Yes. Yeah, Jaceres is the heir now. Or, if you support yourself. With her being the queen, now. that makes sense. And you will have a clean and honorable death. <laughs> Say yes. She is queen. If you swear fealty now, only to later turn your cloaks. Know that you will die. She is queen, she is bay, she is mood. Oh shit. Oh wow, that's Ooh. her dragon too making that roar. Oh bro, is she going is she going through what her mother went through for real? But I feel bad for the dragon. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Is she palming her baby out of her vagina? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Oh, it's a dead baby. Zay, it's a dead baby. She had a miscarriage. No. Jeez. Dude, what's... Oh my god, wait till Damon finds out. I think he might know already. Yeah, at this point, oh yeah, I'm sure he knows. Oh, it's disfigured. Yeah. 
damn poor oh. guys. Wow. Shit. Dude, I can't even imagine the pain that people go through. I hope this happens. doesn't like hope this doesn't like cause them to split. Like, you know, when like something tragic happens and like they kinda Oh, I they, hope not. I don't think separate. so, but I hope not. It could happen that way. Alright, bring in the dragon, Dracarys the baby. Oh, they're just gonna burn him that way, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh snap! He got her the crown. I swear to ward the queen. Yeah. Whoa. Give my blood for hers. Wow. That's insane. Did he bring anyone else with him? I shall take no wife. He brought a crown. <laughs> True. Father, no children. I shall guard her secrets. Uh, what's Damon thinking? <sighs> wow. There it is. Well, now we have a king and a queen, and they're not on the same side. <sighs> Lion King style right now. Bro, this is going to get intense. We're like not even halfway through the episode. Bro, we're not. Yeah, this is going to get nutty. What is she going to do? What is she going to do? She always says there shouldn't, like, they're never going to accept the queen. Are you going to accept a queen? Bend the knee. Just bend it a little bit. Just just bend it. Just bend it. Oh, we don't know. That's fucked up. Ooh. That is cool. Wow. What? That is so dope. Queen of the Andals and Roinar and the First Men. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Ooh, shit. There has never lived a Stark who forgot an oath, and with House Stark, the North will follow. Ooh. Baratheon will need to be reminded of his father's promises. Ooh. Mm -hmm. and Stark and Baratheon all up in this bitch. Let's go! <laughs> the Valarian fleet is in my husband's yoke. He decides where they sail. Interesting. We shall pray for both you and your husband's support. Okay. And our enemies. We have no friends among the Lannisters. Nope. Thailand has served the hand too long to turn against him. Mm -hmm. Talk of men is moot. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen in this world since the days of old Valyria. Yes. Dragons. Yes. Yeah, but Vagar. The Greens have dragons. They True. have three adults, by my count. Sure. We have Cyrax, Caraxes, and Melis. Your sons have Veermax, Arax, and Tyraxes. Surround King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every green head mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turns. But Vagar. <laughs> yeah, Vagar. Like... I've been directed to deliver her message only to Princess Ramira. Sorry. Not Where cool. is the princess? Not available. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yes, that's how you show up. Mm hmm. Just burn them now. Fuck it. <gasps> so sick. Princess Rhaenyra. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. <sighs> and you all are traitors to the realm. Yep. King Aegon Targaryen, second of his name, is offering terms. Yeah, how about suck on these? <laughs> Here's my terms. Ligma, balls. <laughs> his grace will confirm your possession of Dragonstone. <laughs> It will pass to your true-born son, Jaceris, upon your death. Nope. <laughs> mm. Your sons by Prince Damon will also be given places of high honor at court. Mm. Aegon the Younger as the King's Squire, Viserys as his cupbearer. Oh. Mm. Feed my sons to the dragons and have them carry shields and cups. <laughs> Drunken usurper to the king. Oh, damn! Stark, Tully, Baratheon, houses that have also received and are at present considering generous terms from their king. Uh, I don't know. Stark, Tully, and Baratheon all swore to me. Yeah. Still mm. oaths will not put you on the Iron Throne, princess. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, back up, back up, back up. 
I only regret that you and he were the last to see the truth of it. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. You are no more hand than Egg of his king. Oh, fuck oh, oh damn! Wow! What is that? Is that the page that I think she ripped out of the book from Allison? In the beginning, they sh remember they showed. Not forgotten the love you once had for each other. Oh, okay. When she had that book open, they showed Rhaenyra rip it out. She ripped it one page. Queen Alison eagerly awaits your answer. She could have her answer now, stuffed in her father's mouth along with his withered cock. Let's end this mama's farce. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. To Eric, bring me Lord Hightower so I may take the pleasure myself. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh! Dracarys. Dracarys. Oh. oh, come on. King's Landing will have my answer on the morrow. What? Give him your answer right now. I have my answer. Dracarys. Yeah. <laughs> Just. We're obsessed with the burning of people. <laughs> no, I just like dragon action. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. You know, here's the thing Otto's a fuck. <laughs> He's a fuck. Well, the enemy have declared war. What are you going to do about it? Seriously. <sighs> this is tough. I don't know who to side with. Clear the room. Oh shit. <laughs> the coming war against the darkness in the north, the conqueror's dream. Wow. Sarah shared it with me when he named to me. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. My brother was a slave to his omens and portents. Oh shit. Whoa. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. Oh shit. Holy shit. Damon. Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. Damn. Oh my gosh. He said cut that shit out now. <laughs> Alright, I'd be careful what you say around him. <laughs> I told you. Oh shit. What? Dizzy. Man, talking I... about the prophecy. I guess. I guess he didn't want to hear it. Maybe. Yeah. You abandoned me. Damn. When I most needed you. Fuck. Your brother is also dead. Let's not talk about that death. Let's not yeah, talk let's about not how he talk died. About that, he might change. He might decide who he's really allegiant to. Stood before the king and denounced Lainor's sons as illegitimate. No. Oh, no. Oh. Don't say what happened, though. Damon took his head for it. Okay. Heedless ambition has always been a Valarian weakness. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe we're okay. I reached too far. And for nothing. Our pursuit of the Iron Throne. Is that an end? Fuck. Yeah, but at least... We can still have power. No one. We will retire to high tide to be content with our grandchildren. Jace, Luke, and Joff are claimants to the throne. Yeah. Those boys will not be safe so long as Aegon is king. Yeah. True. Rhaenyra was complicit in our son's death. Damn it. That girl destroys everything she touches. <sighs> All right. Is holding the realm together. I wish they knew. Mm hmm. Rainier is the only one who's demonstrated restraint. That's true. Actually, you demonstrated restraint, Rainus. True, she did. Where is Damon? There were other concerns which demanded the prince's attention. Oh, man. Corlys is like, I want to see the man that cut the head off my fucking brother. <laughs> Yeah, facts. Also hope to have the support of houses Aaron, Baratheon, and Stark. Hope is the fool's ally. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, not wrong. All of them swore oaths to me. As did House Hightower, <laughs> if I remember. Damn! This Hightower treason cannot stand. Yeah! Okay, okay. okay. You have the full support of our fleet. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, let's go. If war's first stroke is to fall, it will not be by my hand. You do not mean to act. Taking caution 
does not mean standing fast. I wish to know who my allies are before I send them to war. I don't know. Damon's not on the same mindset. Damon wants to fucking just get this war done and over with. Damon just wants blood, no matter where he's at. The Triarchy have been routed. The narrow sea is ours. Oh, that's huge. Oh. The gullet. We can cut off all seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing. Oh, fuck. Oh. I should take Maylis and patrol the gullet myself. That's an ally you want, yo. That is an ally you want. When we drain the narrow sea, we can surround King's Landing. That's a power play. And force the green surrender. Ah, yes. We must first secure the support of Winterfell, the Eyrie, and Storm's End. I'll prepare the ravens, your grace. But you don't need we swords. Should mistress. Dragons can fly faster than ravens. Oh shit. And then more convincing. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Send us. Interesting. Do it. And let us see it. Yes. As Cam wants to see. Of course. If you take this errand, you go as messengers. Not as warriors. Yes, good point. Storm's End is a short flight from here. You have Baratheon blood from your grandmother, Rhaenys. Oh, snap. Lord Boros is an eternally proud man. You'll be honored to host a prince of the realm. And his dragon. <laughs> you better hope so. Uh, this is giving me got vibes of this is going to go very wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I expect you will receive a very warm welcome. That doesn't feel good. Yes, mother. Your grace. She expects it, but the expected. I've learned to expect the unexpected with this show. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, look at them boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh three. Oh, damn. There we go. Oh, the water. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is so fucking cool. Look at that. Oh, he's a little one. He's a little, little, baby one. Oh, but he looks so cool, bro. The, like, the, the, the bluish, grayish red and the... Oh, into the clouds. Bro, it's gotta be huge. It has to be huge. <gasps> Wow, bro, look at that! Look at that! Oh, that's oh who is he? Oh my gosh, that is a big, big boy. <laughs> oh, damn. You better hope he likes your voice. Oh, wow, look at that shot. Such a dope dragon. Please don't kill the dragon for the love of everything. The color is so sick. So sick. Sickest color combination so far. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no, is that Vagar? The. Or was that the dragon that Damon got? I think that was Vagar. I'm Prince Cerys Velaryon. I bring a message to Lord Boris from the Queen. I would have just gotten out of there because that dragon you just saw could eat your dragon. Like, I don't think it was Vagar because I don't think Vagar has the thing hanging from his neck. I, I think Vagar is the old age. I know Vagar has a dropped skin because of old age. Does he? I didn't. Oh, maybe or does she? Or, I don't know. Or, yeah. Oh, it is Vagar. It is Vagar. Oh fuck! Yeah. We're fucked. Fuck! Fuck! I brought you a message from my mother. Oh fuck! The queen. Shit. Yet earlier this day, I received an envoy from the king. Oh no! Oh no! Get out of there, Lucerus. Remind me. Of my father's oath. Oh shit. Run. King Egon at least came with an offer. Oh no. My swords and banners for a marriage pact. Oh no. If I do as your mother bids, which one of my daughters will you wed? All of them. Every single one. Whatever Pick one. Pick one. My lord. I'm not free to marry. Oh fuck. Lucerus! Already betrothed. Okay, but lie maybe for a second? And tell your mother that the Lord of Storm's End is not some dog that she can whistle up at need to set against her foes. I'd be like, yes, sir. I'm out. Yep. I shall take your answer to the Queen, my lord. Oh, fuck. 
This doesn't feel good. Dude, I don't like Wait. when those guards move. Oh, no, 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 no. My lord, strong. Oh, oh, fuck. He said strong. Did you really think that you could just fly about the realm trying to steal my brother's throne at no cost? Ah, shit! I will not fight you. I came as a messenger, not a warrior. Fight would be little challenge. Oh, fuck. No. I want you to put out your eye. Oh, no! In to make a gift of it to my mother. Oh, fucking shit, man. Run! He's the kid's not gonna do it. No. Yeah. Just run. Give me your eye! Oh, shit. Or I will take it, boss! Oh, shit! Not in my hall! The boy came as an envoy. That is terrible. Not have blood shed beneath my roof. Take Prince Lucerus back to his dragon. Yes. Yes, get out of there. Go, bro. Get on the fucking thing and go. I hate this shit. Go. Shit, shit, what are you shit, doing? Shit. Oh, get out of there. Not get that way. That was where Vagar was. Not that way. That was where oh, Vagar was. Not that way. That was where Vagar was. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're fucked. Oh, boy. What was that? Is he there? Yeah. So, yeah. Shut up, Erex. Erex, shut up. Yeah, be quiet, dragon. Oh, oh no! Look how big! Oh my gosh! He's too. Oh no! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Go, 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 go! Fucking zigzag, zigzag! Come on! He won't please, escape. No, please no! Please no! No! It's too no, big. No, He's no, too no, big. no! 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 Oh shit! No! No! Go! No! Oh fuck! 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 Come on, go, 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 Fucking barrel roll. Fucking please. In small spaces. Yes, that's your advantage. Yes! Yes, yes. That's your advantage. Oh no, 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 no. That's fucking terrifying. Alright, stay low, stay low. Good boy. No, what are you doing? You had the advantage, you should have left! No, the no. dragon's not listening. The dragon's not listening. The dragon's not listening. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh, they're both not listening. They're both. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, what a beautiful shot! What a beautiful shot, though. What a beautiful no, it's shot! It's gonna get fucked up. It's gonna get fucked up. It's gonna get fucked up. No! 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 no, no. Fucking gosh! Oh no. Oh my Fuck Vagar. Yeah, fuck Vagar. For real. Two kids back to back. A baby and your son. Yeah. That could have been foreshadowing, if we're gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. She's gonna get angry, yo. Oh yeah, you fucked up. You fucked up, Aemond. Damn. What a fucking ending, yo. Oh my fucking gosh, bro. I'm pissed. I'm beyond pissed right now. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Okay. That was House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 10. Fuck, the Black Queen. Man. Ah, shit. All right. If you guys like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. Help us reach 10,000 subscribers by April. If you want to watch a full length reaction to this and the previous House of Dragon episodes, you can check that out on Patreon. Dude, I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, this was crazy, but depressing, but wild. But, like, I, I found myself, like, fucking smiling and, and, like, I was crying. Even if I didn't shed a tear, like, I was as upset as a little kid that got his toy taken away. Like, dead ass. Like, I was fucking, like, I felt how I felt when I used to cry when I was a kid. Like, I was fucking, I was upset. I was, like, 
like it, just so many emotions throughout this episode and at the end it was just absolutely wild it was a phenomenal episode probably one of my favorites if not my favorite this takes second place but this very well could be my favorite it was absolutely wild i've been asking for dragon action throughout the show and i am not i am i'm fucking very confused on how i feel about the dragon action that we got because that was just not necessary and not from a writing standpoint i get it like i'm talking about from an aim and vagar state standpoint that was not necessary they didn't need to do that i love the writing choice it sets up you know this war has already begun but that was a catalyst for more extreme things to come i can't wait to see how season two plays out amazing writing from this episode amazing acting uh, absolutely astonishing directing and cinematography was absolutely beautiful and that is a reflection on the whole entire series we'll talk about more about our thoughts on the whole series towards the end here but on this episode zay what are your thoughts um yeah listen that that's scary uh that just showed one that pretty much with any of these kids it seems like how much control do they really have over these dragons Eric straight up just said, nah, fuck that. I'm attacking Vagar. And then Vagar just straight up just didn't listen to um to Eamon. So yeah. that puts it like at a very that's the biggest dragon in the world who lost its main rider, who we knew to a basic extent could control it, to now has a psychopath that can't control it. And you saw Eamon's reaction after that was like, oh fuck. Like he like he I don't think he I think he like he was like hunting. Arax and um and uh fucking what Luceris is that his name Luceris yeah yeah he was like hunting them it seemed like because he wanted the debt however it also seemed like towards the end like when he started to lose control of Vagar he almost got like scared like whoa whoa, whoa like Vagar no 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 like listen like, like listen I to me think listen he to me had been toying right with them and then when and, he realized oh shit Vagar is gonna actually try to and kill then Eric. did it and he's oh. like this dragon and if it doesn't listen to you that means that it could kill you if it wants to you're just a rider and if it's not willing to listen to its rider then how much how much control how much bond do you have with it that was a nutty there's a episode line that we're aware of now like we know that like there's only so much control they have until the dragon's like not nah, fuck that i'm doing my own thing at this point right and they just set up what could possibly be like i, I can't wait for season two i wish season two was out because <laughs> yeah, oh, they just set up like the nuttiest this war like oh it just gave me game of thrones feels again like this war that this yeah. oncoming war i'm so excited to see how it develops man yeah it's interesting now because we have them going to multiple houses and trying to collect the legions and you know what we saw at the end of the whole baratheon situation was absolutely horrible but you know there's more houses out there and, and situations like this might happen again what happens with jace jaceris what if um I mean, I don't think Aegon would be out there, but what if, you know, Helena and her dragon might be out there? What if there's a situation where we have another dragon encounter? I, I, I am, oh my gosh, man. I'm like, I'm so like, dude, the, the, I can't, I literally the, the same feeling I got, it's probably the same, if not worse. The feeling I got when we saw, um, uh, Rhaegar shot out of the fucking sky out of nowhere mm -hmm. from uh, Game of Thrones. Um, uh, uh, no, Rhaegon. Uh, when we saw Rhaegon just sh shot out of the sky like that, and Viserion getting stabbed with the with the um, with the spear. Now those deaths were were were, were more slow. Uh, Rhaegon being a little. Uh, well, I guess they're both pretty similar. They both, you know, got shot with a spear-like thing and then uh, died out uh, on their way down. But even though this kind of death was was probably a quicker death, seeing the pieces of the dragon, like seeing a fly's wing separated, you know what I'm saying? These these pieces was so fucking horrible to see. It really hits you hard. Like, oh my gosh, these things can rip each other apart. Especially Vagar, who can literally ate ate that dragon and that fucking kid that's a problem yo like that's a huge huge problem especially because we don't get to we don't we haven't really seen things like we've seen the dragons get stabbed and and like bleed out we haven't seen them it separated into pieces like we just did and i don't know that just hit me very hard i felt so bad for the dragon he stood no chance and, and the kid stood no chance at all their best shot was to just stay low but the dragon took over i'm still running those scenes through my head 
that's how like fucked it was how like stuck with it is it is with me still to this moment i can't get over the fact that they just that the that the, that, the, that, the, that, the, that just fucking happened like that it's crazy yeah and to the point of you know them having to go for houses now it showed that you know loyalty only comes to a certain level if you don't have something to give in exchange for this war they don't want it and because she even said like listen he's a proud man he'll like you'll be a warm welcome this and everything he basically looked at, at that like a spit in the face like they're willing to marry one of my daughters off and probably make all these promises you're bringing you want me just to obey my father's oath to you guys do you have anything exchange for my men dying oh then absolutely not i'll fight on this side that seems like they have something to give in exchange for my loyalty so it's gonna come into play like hey, do they change their tactic do they start to make offerings what are these offerings that they make to these other houses what promises are they going to try to offer them because clearly that type of offer is not going to work so it's it just yeah the sheer power of vague are so terrifying because most oh, every yeah. dragon's smaller i mean that dragon was tiny it was very very small yeah but that but, dragon was still like it was it was probably half the size of of the other dragons on rhaenyra's side mm -hmm. but even double that dragon size vagar's vagar could still at least chew off a half of i'm it, you know more I'm, like, I'm more curious about the dragon that damon just went and saw yeah in that that's cavern. the only way you can counter vagar i just don't know who yeah. that dragon is who is it how it seems big it seems like it's pretty fucking big they were making it seem pretty still, big still smaller than vagar, still smaller than vagar but bigger but than any bigger other than, dragon we've seen and seems powerful and so what's the story behind it why is it down there what's its name did it have a rider again another mystery that we won't get to find out about until freaking season two but i'm sure they... somebody in the comments will let us know the name of the dragon but don't yeah think there's a mystery behind it that we'll find out later yeah don't, don't let us know the mystery. but overall i mean just show again just had amazing writing crazy just i like just cinematography everything some of the shots even the shot before eric's and lucera's got killed was a beautiful shot up above the clouds the sun and then just boom and they did a great job of you know again ramping us up almost like you're like oh my god i can't wait for next episode and it's like oh but by the way that's not till next season buddy and there's a lot to look forward to with it yeah, you know, I did want to also mention when it comes to the allegiances, we know that it looks like Baratheon is going to side with Aegon's side. I think we can fairly assume that the Aarons are going to side with Aegon's side too because mm -hmm. Damon literally killed uh, his Aaron wife and that's not going to go well. But I'm interested to see how the Starks align because the Starks, if anybody, are true to their word. Like if, right. And so that's a huge leverage. Like I don't know if you can offer anything to them where they'll be like, all right, well, we'll just forget our oath. So that'll be interesting to see. And even if it does play out that way, that still leaves a disadvantage for Rhaenyra because she has one house and the other's got two out of that whole ordeal. So, yeah, they do yeah. have the narrow sea, though, locked down, yes. which is a huge advantage. Well, we'll have it locked down. They're working towards getting it locked down. So that, well, is that might a be where advantage. they go to war first. Like they might take Vagar and some other drags and just fucking take over the step stones and try to take over that advantage that ring your hands on has on them which will be absolutely crazy but yeah. i agree overall the series was absolutely phenomenal the first season was amazing amazing the writing was insane the, the action was insane the drama was insane the sound design was insane this show blew me out of the way hands down better than the first season of game of thrones i'm not going to compare it to all the other seasons but in my opinion better than the first season of game of thrones mm -hmm. even though the first season of game of thrones was amazing uh, i i was just this is just draws you in and maybe that's because i've seen game of thrones that makes this season even better not sure how mm -hmm. people who haven't seen game of thrones perceive the show that would be interesting to know but for me i probably smack out of the 9.4 which is like one of the best ratings we ever i mean is television is different than movies and 9.4 on television isn't necessarily the same for a movie but i will say it is it was absolutely phenomenal i i, I couldn't believe what i witnessed i'm so excited to see more i cannot wait till the next season and i know they're absolutely going to bring it and i think uh out of everything damon continues to probably be the most interesting character still yeah and i think that i think that viserys might have been my favorite character uh okay. 
just because I I had a blast watching him and I thought his acting was absolutely amazing. Obviously he won't probably be my favorite character for season two because he won't be in season two, but I think that um, either Viserys or Damon were probably my favorite character. And uh, I thought uh, a special shout out to Rhaenyra and Allison. I think they both did amazing jobs. They're actresses and, and yeah. just seeing them grow up and them still have this tension between each other, but this still kind of mutual respect or appreciation or love for each other was definitely interesting to see all that play out. Zay, what are your thoughts there? Yeah. Um, I think that one advantage the show did have over, you know, game of Thrones for season one is that, it's just a little bit more centralized. Like you have this, you have these three separate families and all these characters, but they're all kind of in the same vicinity, like more in the same vicinity and area. Whereas like Game of Thrones, like, you know, we're over in this with the Starks and then, oh, maybe like we're over with these people and Kings. Like, like it was so spread out and the politics that they were involved in could be completely separate from what they're dealing with with the politics, like there was politics between the main families, but then politics with smaller facilities around these families. And so it was a lot of setting up, gearing up introduction, understanding like these characters motives and stuff. I think that, I mean, I, I mean, I think they did a phenomenal do- job with this. They pretty much like they did the introduction and got us into action pretty quick, which I do appreciate. Um, and so I could, I could agree with that sentiment that I do think I enjoyed this more than game of Thrones season one. I'm not going to speak on the other seasons, like you said, but overall, this is probably one of my favorite introductory seasons of any show I've watched. I think that the, they did everything correctly. Um, yeah, if I had to give it a rating, I'd say probably like a 9.5 for this show. It's just like I'm fiending for more and just want to keep watching. I didn't want this episode to end. And they just, again, absolutely phenomenal job all around. The acting was absolutely top tier. The The writing was top tier. Viserys is definitely my favorite character. <laughs> he was my favorite character. It's a lot of comedy, a lot of like, I just loved the value and the role that he played. And they did it well. They didn't overuse him. And the way they had him kind of exit the scene and show the deterioration that was going to develop was super, super well done. So, yeah, I also want to uh, put a shout out there for the use of dragons. I think, you know, I I will say that I'm a fiend for the dragons. I could always want more dragons, don't get me wrong. But, you know, the show is titled House of the Dragon, and it's more meant to be talking about the Targaryens, not their dragons. And I think they did a good job at not making this show eye candy for people like me and others out there that are that, you know, would be fine with just seeing dragons the whole time and maybe, Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, if they sacrifice story that would still affect me. But like just being able to watch dragons would be really cool. But I appreciate what they did here more i like how they decided to put the targaryens and 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 the politicking up front the dragons were a very secondary um aspect of the show and were utilized very well they were definitely were not overutilized. i don't personally think they were underutilized i thought they were utilizing a perfect uh amount and it 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 really kept us in kept it in our minds that this is not about the dragons this is about the targaryens and their politics and even when we got episodes that didn't have dragons it didn't negatively affect anything yeah and, um i thought they did a, a very good job at incorporating the dragons into this show when there is so many of them and how many people love them they they still were like you know a sprinkle of sugar every now and then Right. And because, you know, I think part of that too is because, you know, like you said, this, especially this season's more about the politics that was involved. Whereas I could see them start to introduce them a lot more. And now that we're kind of getting towards more of the war, like the war side of it. Now I'm sure we'll probably, I'm sure in the next season, we'll probably see a little bit more. I don't know how many seasons this this series is supposed to be, but I'm sure as war develops, you'll kind of start to get to see them more. But yeah, I agree. I think they did it absolutely tastefully. They just sprinkled in there and it was perfect moments that they did it whether they were tragic, like the one that we just saw, or like super hype, like when, uh, when you know, uh, Damon first approached Otto on the bridge and you got to see, you know, um, Rhaenyra come down in her dragon. So yeah, they did it super tastefully. I agree with that. Yeah. Well, with that being said, let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. If you guys liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. 
Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. If you want to watch a full length reaction to this and the previous House of Dragon episodes, you can check that out on Patreon. The link is in the description. If there's anything that you guys want to see us react to in this show that you haven't seen on our reactions on YouTube, you can check it out on Patreon, guys. Enjoy the full experience beginning to end with us if you're so interested. You are going to need a copy to watch along, of course, because we can't just produce a, a copy for you that's copyright. But with that being said, um, thank you guys for being here. Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, I do, guys. My Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Um, this upcoming Friday, the 29th, I believe is what it would be. 28th. The 28th um, is the last costume stream. Well, second to last. I'll be doing one the 20th and the 29th. Uh, costume stream. I will be dressed up as a baby. Um, so if you want to see me dressed well, as a baby. Well, the 20th is over. 28th and 29th. Oh, 28th. I think it's 28th. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you guys want to go back in time, <laughs> actually, you could watch my VODs, but no, um, you will, 20th and 29th, I will be dressed up as a baby. My girlfriend on the 29th will be dressed up as a banana next to me. So if you want to come see that weirdness on my stream, come tune in. You can roast me if you'd like, or you can just say hi and be kind, because that's always appreciated, and we can talk about the show. Yeah, um, I mean, after but, this episode, I don't think we need any more roasted babies. <sighs> And with that being said, if yeah, so I'll be linked down there. Oh man, uh, <laughs> everyone's oh, like, dang, everyone's man. like, everyone went like. Yeah. <laughs> well, with that being said, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being on our journey throughout this season. It, it's so meaningful to be able to see your comments, to see how much you guys enjoy our reactions, and just to see what you guys have to say. It's really fun. We are reading the comments. It's much appreciated. But if you do have a spoiler, a moderator will remove it. Don't spoil down below. Even if the season's over, there are more seasons to come. We don't want to be uh, sullied. So with that being said, again, Thank you for being here. Thank you for being supporters. We'll see you on whatever the next one is. And peace. Peace. The baby bottle pup. Is this a little baby bottle pup? You disgust me. Eh. Absolutely. Eh. <laughs>